most fans of Chicago Drill know about the deadly war between O Block and Tukaville. But that's just one of the many beefs going on in the city that has earned it the nickname of Chirac. The war between 051 Money Gang and 600 is another beef that has claimed countless lives and spread a wave of terror across the South Side. Here's a look at this violent war. 600 is a set of the Black Disciples that's based on the 600 block of South King Drive in the South Side of Chicago. The set was founded by D-Thang 600 with the help of his homie Lil Boo. 600 started as a GD set, but all the other sets in the area were being claimed by BDs and a strong alliance between them was forming. So the early members of 600 decided it was the best move to flip sets and join the alliance. 600 would then ally themselves with other nearby BD sets like O Block, 300, Lamron, and Front Street. Plus, the set would become known in the early days of Drill for having a lot of talented rappers including LA Capone, Rondo No. 9, Buka, Ide, Mimo 600, Tay 600, and 600 Breezy. 051 Money Gang is a set of the Mickey Cobras, but is considered a renegade set known to play by their own rules. The gang also contains members of the Black P-Stones and even some GDs and is based on 51st and Cottage Grove in the South Side. 051 Money Gang didn't have as many famous rappers, but they did have plenty of well-known street savages, including 051 Melly, Drilla, Rose, Lil Mark, Kiddo, Aero, Fathead, and T Streets. The beef between the two sets would start after 600 founder D Thang shot at 051 Melly and other 051 Money Gang members in 2011. D Thang would be murdered later that same year, leading members of 600 to believe that it may have been the work of 051. This led to D-Thang's brother, M-Thang, to seek retaliation and kill 051 member T-Streets on November 10th, 2011. This is the murder that officially set off the war between 051 and 600. Although 600 had music superstars like L.A. Capone and Rondo No. 9, 051 had one of the most respected shooters in the history of Chirac, 051 Melly, aka the Gravedigger of Chicago. Melly would be the one leading the charge against 600 and would run up the scoreboard for 051 as the drama continued to increase. In February 2012, a 600 member who went by the name Shaq was at a house party on the 5900 block of South Calumet Avenue. While he was outside taking a piss, he was shot and killed by members of 051, with Melly and Kiddo allegedly doing the hit. Melly almost went as far as admitting to it in a video, speaking with his niece, where he says, I'm one of those type of guys who'll be waiting for you in the dark when you gotta go pee at night, and I just get you. I'm one of those type of guys that be in the dark waiting for you when you, when you gotta go pee at night, and I just get you. His niece clearly didn't get the reference, but the streets and fans on the internet heard it loud and clear. 600 was already on the move, planning their next attack. The next hit would come just a few months later when a group of 600 members would catch Fathead or just Fats from 051 lacking and take his life to get revenge for Shaq. On June 22, 2012, Fats was walking to a corner store with his cousin when a light gray van started driving toward him. His cousin, who barely escaped with her life, said that the driver and the passenger were staring right at them as they drove closer. The van just kept driving, but a few minutes later, a man wearing a hooded sweatshirt would sneak up behind him and kill Fats. The witness says that she recognized the killer as the driver of the van. She ran for her life, and when she looked back, she saw the shooter standing over him, firing off another round. A member of 600 named C-Day would end up taking credit for the hit, and 051 would begin planning their revenge. Fats was only 15 years old at the time of his death and was a beloved member of 051, so they wouldn't waste much time getting payback. 600 Tricks would be the next victim to lose his life to this deadly war. He was murdered while sitting in a parked car on November 1st, 2012, and the hit was credited to 051 Kiddo. So, the beef was really heating up, with bodies dropping left and right and no end in sight, but Tricks' death was not enough to even the score for Fats. So, 051 would go after one of the most popular names of 600 next, L.A. Capone. L.A. Capone was well known in the city and one of the most popular rappers in 600. He built a major buzz with tracks like Play For Keeps and Round Here, so many thought that he would be the next rapper from Chicago to blow up. But before he could make it big like Keith and Dirk, he would be killed after leaving a recording studio by members of 051. On September 26, 2013, L.A. was walking down an alley near 70th Street and Stony Island Ave after just finishing up a recording session. As he was walking to his car, a vehicle pulled up and started letting off shots hitting him in the thigh and lower back. The rapper didn't die right away and was taken to Northwestern Hospital, but he ended up passing away from his injuries just a few hours later. The death of L.A. Capone was not only a major blow to 600, it hurt everyone in Chicago, especially the BDs. L.A.'s death was more payback for the murder of Fats, and it's been rumored that he was in the car with C-Day that night. It's also been rumored that before he was killed, Tricks had been kicked out of 600 for snitching on Dro Philly. So his death wasn't enough to satisfy their taste for revenge. 
they had to take out one of 600's biggest members, and LA seemed like the perfect target. Not long after, two members of 051 would be arrested for LA's death. 051 Lil Mick would eventually go down at the shooter and be sentenced to 60 years in prison for the murder. 051 Rockhead was also there for the shooting and was given a sentence of 45 years as an accomplice. After LA's death, 600 would be looking for serious payback. They were not only losing street cred after two members got hit back to back, they were also losing their strength in the music industry with their best rapper gone. The perfect opportunity for revenge would come after 051 rapper Lil Mark dropped a diss track against a bunch of BDs, including 600. On March 25th, 2014, Lil Mark dropped a remix to the Lil Durk song Competition called No Competition that featured disses to both Alive and Dead BDs. On one particularly wild set of bars, Lil Mark raps, wake up, ate a bowl of tricks. While I was blowing on D-Thang, riding down the Steve Drive, think I'm finna OD, took a trip to LA, while Kita man, she throat me. In just a few bars, Lil Mark dissed dead members of OTF, O Block, Lamron, and 600. As you might expect, just a few days later, Lil Mark would be shot and killed while waiting for a bus after he and 051 Lil Ant were out looking for ops. A 600 affiliate spotted Lil Mark waiting for the bus and called up D-Rose from 600. D-Rose returned in a van full of BDs and opened fire, hitting Mark in the head. It's also been rumored that right before the shooting, D-Rose yelled out, Hey Lil Mark, you forgot your bus ticket. With D-Rose in the van that night with THF Twilla. 051 was also beefing with another BD set called THF or Trigger Happy Family and the hit was a collaboration between the two sets. Other people rumored to be along for the ride were King Von and T-Roy from O Block and Five Star from Folly Boys. Lil Mark's death would spark a new beef between 051 and OTF after Lil Durk would go to the bus stop where Lil Mark was killed and call it a real famous bus stop. Bus stop, man. Hey, this this hey, 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 this bus stop right here, though? This is a real famous place, you hear me? 051 Melly will respond by killing Dirk's cousin Nooski and then his manager Chino a year later. Check out our previous videos on 051 Melly, Chirac's deadliest shooter, and the curse of Lil Dirk for more info on this beat. So, 600 had managed to even the score a bit after the death of LA Capone, but they wouldn't stop there. Lil Boo, one of the founding members of 600, would keep the streak going and take out 051 Polo just a few months after Lil Mark was killed. On June 30th, 2014, Polo and another victim would be shot at around the 600 block of East 50th Place. A neighbor heard the gunshots and found Polo bleeding on the street. He held his hand until ambulances arrived, but he passed away on the scene. According to witnesses, Polo and the other victim who got shot in the arm had been arguing with someone in the van when bullets started flying. Lil Boo from 600 would take credit for the hit. The final murder in the beef between 600 and 051 would come almost a year later when multiple members of 051, MOB, and Jarl City would take out Lil Boo, one of the highest ranking members of 600. On April 3rd, 2015, Lil Boo was walking down the 5800 block of South King Drive when a car pulled up next to him. One of the passengers jumped out with a handgun and opened fire, hitting him multiple times. He was taken to Northwestern Memorial Hospital where he later died from his injuries. Someone even took a photo of Lil Boo's dead body laying next to a car tire. Many of his ops would use this photo to mock him after his death, giving him the nickname Tirehead. 051 Uchi is credited with the hit, but in the car with them was Aero from 051, Bebe from MOB, and Motor from Jarl City. After that, the beef between 600 and 051 would start to die down. By that point, 051 had earned the title as one of the most hated groups in Chicago and would move on to beefing with other gangs. After the death of Lil Boo, 600 would start to unravel. They had already faced a major loss after C Day and Rondo No. 9 would be arrested for the 2014 murder of a cab driver named Javon Boyd. They would both be found guilty of the crime in 2016, with C Day getting 38 years and Rondo getting 39. To make things even worse, C Day's brother E Day, along with 600 Breezy, accused Tay 600 of snitching on Rondo. Tay 600 was fighting a gun case at the time, and they say that he cooperated to make it go away. Tay 600 denied the rumors and was later able to prove his innocence after official court paperwork was released. Yeah, like it was a fake statement floating around and it said in the statement, I, Jamonte D. Carpenter, to have seen Rondo and C. They shoot the person five times, you know. And the statement was so fake because if you read the statement, for one, court document is not going to say Rondo and C. They is going to say Courtney and Clint. And, it, and then like the dates on the, on the fake statement was all type of fucked up. The, the, the addresses was fucked up. But the allegations definitely hurt his reputation and caused internal issues within 600. So after Lil Boo died, it seemed like 600 lost direction and everyone from the gang just went their separate ways. 051 Melly will be murdered at a house party in 2019, but not by a member of 600. 
Just recently, E-Day 600 was shot and killed in Chicago after attempting to leave the streets alone and start a legal trucking business. The motive behind E-Day's death has not been revealed, but it could have been the result of old beef, possibly with 051 Money Gang. Check out our previous video on E-Day 600 shot and killed in Chicago, RIP, for more info on this case. The feud between 600 and 051 Money Gang was one of the deadliest in Chirac history, but it ended just as quickly as it began. But that's how these beefs happen sometimes. One instance of disrespect can lead to an all-out war until everyone is either dead or in jail and no one is left on the streets to continue the battle. But both crews will go down in hip-hop history as two of the most respected gangs to ever run the streets of Chicago. 